leafing around. Today I'm taking you to a nursery that's very close to my heart because this guy Vincent who owns the nursery Bunsam was the first guy I turned to when I know absolutely nuts about gardens and plants. I didn't know words like alocasia, philodendrons, anthuriums and uh, he was very kindly patiently listening to my confusion and helped me to put together my first setup of my garden. So today we're going to revisit his nursery because he's got a huge range of plants. I also want to give a shout out to Robin. Today it's very very special because Robin Wong is shooting me now. Robin is the guy that helped to push me to create my own YouTube channel and so without him this channel would not have happened and Robin himself runs a YouTube channel talking all about photography I was gonna say plants but it's about photography and cameras so do check it out if you want to learn more so without further ado let's go in Tell me more about the nursery. How long have you had it? Oh, hi. Uh, I'm started by my father about three years ago. And then I start my part is about my when I'm 18. Oh, okay. Wow, that is... I won't ask you how long you have worked here. That it will reveal your age. <laughs> <laughs> Can you tell us more about the, the products and services you offer? Um, we do landscaping garden maintenance and we sell a lot of plants and now we go for more exotic plants oh, uh, okay now i have a story for you guys so about two and a half years ago when my husband was out of town he went on a vacation and and i didn't want to go on this holiday with him i can't remember what excuse i gave that i could get away with it so when my husband was away from town i got vincent and his team of people to come in to do a little transformation of my garden and it was fantastic because um, my husband wasn't there to nag at me or anything and he just came home to a big surprise so my learning that I want to share with you is if you want to do anything just just do it get your husband or wife out of the way for a <laughs> while because if I had asked for permission he could have said no but if I have already done it then um, and if he's not happy, I'll just have to say sorry later. Yeah. <laughs> so Vincent, I know you have a busy day ahead. If you don't mind, I can just help myself around to your nursery. Yeah, sure. Have uh, fun. Okay, thanks. <laughs> First, we start here with the Alacasia Sarian. This one is a really, really good size. And the leaves are always pointing upright, I notice. I have a confession to make. I've killed a number of these, so... I'm not buying them anymore but these are gorgeous uh, let's see here we have the Paraiso Verde this has been all the rage I think in the past 12 months or so and we're starting to see much more now coming in the market let's see this one this one has a nice variegation check it out did you get this and let's see what else we have Coming back down here, we see the Philodendron Gigas and then there is the Florida Narrow and ah, the Monstera Pinapartita. I hope I got that correct. These are gorgeous. Looking at the, that split leaves and it's a climber. So this one, it really loves to climb. Would you look at that? This is humongous. Oh my god. Uh, I think this is called the Philodendron Gigantum. If it's not, do let me know. But this is huge. Whoops. Oh my god. I hope I didn't damage his leaves. Okay, there's more goodies down here. This must be the glorious um, dark form maybe. 
as you know, there are many many forms of glorism. Let me check the shape of the petiole. The petiole uh, is round. Uh, the normal glorism, I think it's a D-shaped petiole. So round, round, I think this could be the dark form. And then here we have the philodendron. I don't see this a lot and I hope I'm saying it right. The philodendron apalatum. It's got these cute little ears. And then this is something that looks like the billy tay, but it, it isn't apapotense, perhaps. And then let's see what's here. This is a monstera of sort. I wonder if this is the monstera Peru or something else. And it's so cute. He's got a pole here and it's uh, running out of space. I'll have to tell him to extend his pole or give me a cutting. I'll help him <laughs> to grow that out. Oh, okay. This is interesting. I don't know this species of plants. It's got like great looking apps. Hmm, hello. Oh, and here we have a variegated Monstera. I wanted to say Peru, Monstera Peru, but I'm not sure. And have a look at the younger variegation seems to be yellow, but the older variegation seems to be pretty white. I'm starting to see this uh, behavior with other variegated plants. If you experience this to be the case also, do let me know. Do they generally start out being more yellow and then turn white later? This alocasia I have not seen before. I find it very interesting because it's really, really wavy. Um, I've learned that this is called the alocasia low rider. Low rider is a Harley, isn't it? So I don't know what it has to do with a Harley Davidson quite spectacular and I've not seen it around in other nurseries. Let's see what we have here. I think this is the Anthurium Magnificum or I think probably a hybrid because the patio here is um, not square like the purebred. It's more like a D shape but what is amazing about this piece is it's got three inflows. Look at that! If there is a, you know, a way to pollinate and mate them, you can have lots and lots of babies from this pot. So, anyone wants to come and buy this pot, I think it's really worth it. You might, you might get to make lots of babies soon. Okay, what else? Ah, I think this is the Monstera Esculeta. This has been quite the rage lately and you know, it's so gorgeous. Look at the fenestration. It's just amazing. I really want to have one in my garden. And um, yeah, I'm trying to see if I could convince someone to do a swap with me. Oh, look at that. This is also something that's in my wish list. Now this is a very hard video to make because I've pledged to do a 30 day plant buying fast and I'm not supposed to buy anything for the next 30 days. I'm on day 7. Uh, this is <laughs> Philodendron Cherine and this is a really beautiful specimen. The leaves are so long and I like how they are ribbed. I tend to like uh, leaves that are longish and ribbed this one is almost reminding me of the Anthurium vitchii and for those who find that maybe a bit out of their budget, the Chardonnay could be a good alternative. It is a little bit cheaper but still not a cheap plant. So there is a lot of glorism here guys. There is oh a new leaf here, could you see that? This is in such perfect condition. The ones in my house, they just get eaten by caterpillars all the time. And here, this looks like um, crystallinum. The crystallinum, I've noticed some has red edges. Now this one doesn't, and I'm not sure what that means. Uh, let's see more. I can't tell whether this is a white vein variation or the normal variation. Uh, I think this is the 
the green glarsum because I've just checked the patio and it's uh, in a D shape. So let's see what else have we got. Um, ooh, this looks like another Magnificum hybrid. As I'm talking, I'm also fumbling over its patio. I hope they don't mind. <laughs> I keep touching all the plants. I don't know what is it about this guy, but he's anthuriums have all these inflow and that's fantastic uh, what else <gasps> okay I think this is a mummy and this is such a glorious big beautiful piece the texture is amazing and see all these speckles of silver I think I think this is a mummy oh if you could look at the patio you could see that it's wavy here. Oh, this is such a beautiful, glorious piece. I think I want to take this home. I'll beg and grovel for it. Oh, this has a little fallen ear. Oh my God, look at that. So, you know when your plant is floppy, there's something very bad going on. There is a whole lot of spider mites here. Can you see? They are forming a, like a, a web-like thing. Plus this, oh my god, it freaks me out so many. I will have to tell them to get rid of it. But, but otherwise, this is a very beautiful fresh leaf. And you can also see the damage the spider mites are starting to make to it. It's turning yellow and floppy and looking not very good oh check this out oh my god did you see that hairy bit I've never seen a patio this hairy before I think this is the philodendron tamarindo also something I not yet have so this is this has just been a day of me building out my wish list uh, okay the Likwala Mapu this is a beautiful palm endemic to Sarawak where I am from, where Robin is from and this is also very spectacular if you keep it more in the shade you would see uh, more contrast coming out let's see what else Syngonium Pink Splash I think for those who like their pink plants this is quite a good option I don't think this is a very expensive plant yet <laughs> this is another uh, plant that had this app look alike it even has flowers too I must find out what it is if you do know what it is do let me know and I see here he's propagating more of this uh, philodendrons this is undoubtedly the Filiatia with the famous orange patio and this is a must for your collection if you're into philodendrons I feel it is quite spectacular but I do have a weakness for plants in general that's like long and root <laughs> okay what else oh ooh, we can't miss this this is the philodendra melanocrossum and this is a huge one guys the ones that I've seen in the market and the one that I have are about this tiny and this one is an awesome size so if you could afford it I highly highly encourage you to buy big plants for those without any patience but otherwise yeah you have to spend a number of years to really grow them up to this size look guys this is the infamous monstera albo borsigena variegata i can't believe that just rolled off my tongue so as you know i have a love-hate relationship with this one i love it but then I can't keep it alive so yes I have famously killed one within four weeks under my care now this one looks really healthy and this is a new shoot really nice tender new shoot uh, I found this plant to be quite fussy I think my mistake was I changed the potting media I was being too smart but then the plant although I felt it was a good potting mix but the plant just couldn't adapt uh, quickly enough to it and root rot everything just died so if you do have one do take good care of it and give it a good pole to climb this is a climber and it loves climbing hey 
Vincent. Hi. What? What is this? Hi. Ah, uh, this is our new product. Ah. Uh? Uh, we just make it about uh, years ago, and then is we make make it with uh, ourselves and we mix it everything yeah uh, it's good for potting okay what does it have inside we mix it with the uh, cocoa peat perlite second party okay, and some rice sauce rice? yeah okay this so, is for good draining yes all right and can for any of the plants and vegetables okay so good for general gardening use yes how much <laughs> is this pack uh, 10 bucks. 10 bucks? That's pretty reasonable for quite a big, big pack. Great. I might get one on my way out. Okay, sure. Thank you. Have fun. Bye bye. bye, -bye. Okay, guys, this one is my all time favorite palm plant, possibly, and I do have it in my garden as a focal plant. This is the Liquala cordata. And what is so uh, spectacular about it is the leaf is almost entirely round. This palm is endemic once again to Sarawak. Sarawak just makes beautiful plant and people. <laughs> okay, so this one is also not easy to come by. Um, so yeah, there is a huge, huge plant here if you are interested. I'm not sure if he's selling it or keeping it as a, as a mother plant. This is another huge one, guys. I'm not sure what about this place, but all the leaves are huge. I believe this is the El Choco. It's not red because it's not red at the back. Let's just call it green. I think it's the El Choco green. <gasps> this one is catching my eyes, guys. This is a Magnificum, but the veins are just really popping out. And let's take a look at the patio. <gasps> look at that. It's amazing look at that this is completely incredibly wavy and it's a square patio so i think this is the real deal guys so if you're looking for a magnificum oh, oh, oh check this out the wavy part starts intensely at the top and it kind of goes all the way down i've not seen anything quite like it okay Oh, this is the philodendron. Um, I was going to say Bobsy, but I don't think it is. And I'm not sure what it's called. If you do know what this philodendron is, please let me know. It's uh, really it's got a very different form from the others that I've seen. Look almost like, like a fern. Ah, this one is known as the Alocasia Mickey Mouse, believe it or not. And. The trait of this is, uh, is, is variegated and the new leaves, I think this has confirmed my suspicion, the older leaves seems to have white variegation but the new ones that pop up seems to be more yellow. I guess gradually later when it matures it would turn white. It's got this little tail, do you see it? So it's a little bit like a, a stingray too. What I found guys, a pitcher plant here and the most amazing thing about it is I never knew they could have I, I don't know what's this um, flowers maybe that's gonna pop up incredible I've never seen this on pitcher plants before okay guys I find a really weird and almost root piece of pitcher plant it looks like maybe it hasn't really uh, matured yet because there's supposed to be an opening where things could drop down so yeah, I've never seen it in this, at this stage before. Hmm, very odd. Oh, look at this, this is huge. This is the Philodendron Jose Bueno. And what a beautiful variegation it has. This one is kind of like one quarter white. And let's check out this one. I'm too short to see a lot of the leaves. Let's see what else. Oh, look up here. This is a gorgeous piece of fern trees. I am a big fan of fern trees. It just gives this very graceful and uh, cozy look to the garden. Look at the lovely fronts. A lot of you have asked me where to get a fern tree. So this is one place you can come to look for it. Alacasia zebrina, guys. As you know, it's spectacular patio, endemic to the Philippines. 
and then what else we have <gasps> we have the queen the anthurium queen very much sought after and what surprises me is this is now sitting under um, very bright light so it looks like the queen can be exposed to bright light okay guys this is the philodendron very custom and what is amazing about this is how much sun this thing is getting i always thought that it's a diva plant maybe you know can't withstand the strong light but it is now in pretty strong sunlight and it seems to be doing okay so yeah this is one plant that i have not yet gotten because i feel like i could kill it but now i'm seeing this i might change my mind oh begonias begonias are kind of like one of my very first loves and they are known to be quite quite diva but it really depends on what kind this is the begonia masonona river i think and it's a very unusual shade of color this one the begonia i i, I will put it in the label here for you because i forgot the names but i love this borders that it has so the iron cross it wouldn't have this border but i think this is the masanyona and so it has that dark borders around very nice guys this is the hooperzia gobelii and it is i think a spectacular addition if you're looking for hanging plants they are just such beautiful creatures i do have a few already and i do want to have more whoa this is a spectacular palm this is huge i have no idea what it's called the shape is like i don't even know how to describe the shape it's like that and then it goes out like that and it needs a lot of space this is something that would really stand out in the garden if you had a big amount of space and want something that pops and it's really showy for my garden i know it wouldn't work so i just don't have the space for the shine guys look at that isn't that spectacular i believe this plant is also from the philippines i think it's called the magdalena or something i forgot and there is two form to it these are the ones with the berries and then this one here below i believe it's called the the grande version the magdalena grande so this is not yet mature but it would be quite similar it will have the berries but they also have this nice paddle sitting on top so this one is a much more showy piece need a good dose of healthy light and if you don't have it it's unlikely to flower for you i know this because i've kept it in a pretty shady area and it has not done very much for me and this wall here you see a huge amount of platycerum Punsam also has a quite a good collection. That is the Ridleyi up there. This is the elephant tortoise. This is I don't know what the Willintii Willin perhaps. And then more Ridleyi. Guys, I have to warn you, Ridleyi is not the easiest of all platycerium. And so if you're just starting out, do not start with this one. <laughs> I have killed three three Ridleyis. Okay. Okay. Ooh, here we have the cactus collection i'm not really into cactus but i do know this plant so guys this is the booby plant very cute yeah we have some very root plants here let me show you more here i'll leave it how you want to interpret this this hairy looking thing do not ask me the names and we have one that absolutely look like a screwdriver hmm a very thorny screwdriver um i don't know what else to say lots of thorny plants yeah <laughs> so wow more phallic looking thorny plants hmm sure about you but i'm not really into cactuses they kind of yeah hurt hurt me <laughs> oh, 
Okay, this is something I have never seen before, guys. Do you have any idea what it is? Do let me know. And this plant here behind it is even variegated. Look at it. Could you see the white stripes, green stripes? So if you look up at the leaves, you would see that these are variegated leaves that it has. Quite spectacular. No idea what this is. Vincent for letting me roam around today. I had so much fun. This is like Disneyland to me. <laughs> Thank you. You are always welcome here. Yeah, I have a little gift for you. Oh! That! Yeah. Wow! Thank you so much! Okay. This is the Hooperzia Gobiliae. Yeah. I planted like two years. Two years! <laughs> wow! And it is like a piece of art, guys. This one looks simply perfect in my jungle garden. Thank you, Vincent. Okay. Because I'm not supposed to buy any plants this month, so I'm very happy to get free plants. <laughs> I hope you've enjoyed this tour, guys. And if you did, please consider subscribing and join me for more. Until my next video, bye-bye.